Hey friends, welcome back to Homestead on a Prayer. In case you're new here, I'm Jennifer. If you have been following along with us for a little while, then you know that I am in the process of a big garden expansion project. And one of the key components of that garden expansion is going to involve arch trellises. Now, I've decided to use cattle panels. That's what I've used in my main garden. They've worked really well. It's really cost effective for what you get. It gives you a lot of good vertical growing space and they're really easy. So we decided we want to do that again with our garden expansion. The problem is that we do not have a pickup truck. Cattle panels are 16 feet long, so it's going to be pretty tricky to get one home without a truck, but we are going to try. So we are on our way to our local tractor supply right now, and we are going to see if we are able to get a cattle panel on the top of my little SUV. So stay tuned and see how we do. All right, so Dan is gonna be probably the mastermind and definitely at least the muscle behind this whole operation. So what do you think our chances are of success, Dan? <laughs> One in 10. <laughs> One in 10. <laughs> See, <clears throat> I'm rating our chances of success a little bit higher because I'm more inclined to make it work no matter how. Awful. <laughs> we'll see what happens. So we're in the process of loading it up right now and it's actually worked surprisingly well. The first thing you definitely want to do is fold it into this teardrop shape and attach the ends together with zip ties. I'll say I made a mistake on this one here by attaching it here. You really want to put it on this long end so it doesn't slide back and forth. So we have a roof rack on our SUV which really helps, but we've put down an old towel on both parts of the roof rack just to prevent any scratching from happening. So now that we have this end securely zip tied and the cattle panel lifted up onto the roof, you can see we've attached it directly to the roof rack with some long zip ties. And over there you can see another one. So over here you can see Dan in action as he attaches another zip tie. <laughs> so this is actually, I thought this was gonna be a lot more difficult than it actually was so far. Even though we're actually getting a total of three cattle panels, we didn't want to have that much weight on top of the car at once. We figured that that much weight would be kind of heavy to lift on top of the car, kind of heavy to be sitting on the roof rack. And also the kettle panels are pretty stiff and not super easy to bend. When you stack them all up like that, it gets even harder. So we're doing one at a time. We are going to take three separate trips over the course of probably the next couple weeks. This tractor supply is right on our way home from church. So it's actually, we just came from church. And so we're here in our Sunday clothes attaching a cattle panel to the roof of our car. So how do you think it went, Dan? Or is going, I should say. We're not quite done yet. Better than I expected. Yeah. We'll find out if uh, it flies off on the highway. Oh, well, hopefully I don't have to do that kind of update. So it's 16 feet long. When you fold it in half, it becomes, I don't know, what would you say? Would you say that's six or seven feet long? Yeah, it's probably six. Because obviously we have the bump there, so it's not folded completely in half. So I would say with a little SUV like this, especially if you have a roof rack, I think it's actually surprisingly doable. You definitely do need something to attach it to. So by having the zip ties here, or having the roof rack here gives us something to attach the zip ties to. So we're just gonna finish attaching this, add some more zip ties, make sure it's really secure. We will meet you when we get home for the unloading process. So before we picked up our cattle panel, we just grabbed this pack of zip ties right at Tractor Supply. And you just want to get the extra long ones if you're going to want to attach your cattle panel to a roof rack. 11 inch. Oh, yes, 11 inch. So Dan's a lot more precise than me. I said long ones, he said 11 inches long. <laughs> Much to our surprise, the worker at Tractor Supply that helped us get the cattle panel actually said that she does this all the time. So apparently we are not the first people to try to bring a cattle panel home without a truck. And it seemed like it actually went pretty smoothly. We're driving home now, so, so far it's been smooth. So we'll let you know the update when we get home. Well, we made it safely home. Our cattle panel and our car arrived in one piece. So that actually worked really well. So just a couple little details. We did use six zip ties to attach this cattle panel to the roof rack. It felt really secure that way. You could use 
you could use more than that if you felt more secure with it, but I think six was completely fine. Now you can see the size of my car here. I have a Honda CRV. So it's like a maybe small to mid-size SUV. So I guess kind of use your judgment about if you would try this on just a regular sedan or something like that with a roof rack. So this is how it looks on my SUV if that helps you make any decisions about what would work for you. All right, so we're just removing it from the roof of the car now and we're gonna get it set up and brought over to our little garden area in progress back here. All right, so it's all unloaded and ready to be set up. We're not quite ready to set it up yet. So for now, it's just gonna stay in this teardrop shape until we're ready to use it. So just a real quick note of caution. If you have not worked with paddle panels before, just be prepared when you unclip the zip ties that are holding it in this teardrop shape. It's going to spring out with quite a bit of force. So just make sure you're prepared for that so that you don't get hurt. As long as you're prepared for it, it's not a big deal. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and going on this adventure today. I am so excited that we got our first cattle panel here. This is going to be one of the really important steps into making this garden extra special. So I hope that this was helpful and I hope that kind of inspired you that you don't actually need a pickup truck to get cattle panels. And I know now that I know I can get cattle panels without a truck, it might be a little dangerous because I'm sure I'll be finding other places that I really need them. So in a video pretty soon, I'm going to be showing you guys how we actually install this into a cattle panel trellis. So definitely stay tuned if you're interested in that. In the meantime, I hope you guys are having a great day and I can't wait to see you again soon. Bye guys, I'll see you next time.